Hello teachers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Sarah and in today's video I'll be showing you teachers how to use Google Classroom class calendar. Now you teachers may be wondering what is this Google Classroom class calendar? Well Google Classroom automatically makes this calendar for you where you can see assignments that are coming up or any event. For example Independence Day which actually was not too long ago. Anyways, with that, let me share my screen and show you teachers how to use Google Classroom Class Calendar. Okay, so now the first step is to go to classroom.google.com and log in to your account. Okay, now since I'm here, I'm going to go in my class. Okay, now since I'm here, I'm going to go in the classwork right here. And then you're going to want to click on this Google Calendar box right here. Now that I've clicked on it, it brings me to Google Calendar. This is what I see. So it automatically brings you to the month you're in, and then it shows you... All the events for example here it says independence day and then it says independence day observe on the last row as you can see i see that it says assignment and then the name of the assignment here it says h2o project and then right here it says uh shows the date and then right here it shows the date it automatically puts that assignment reminder as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and click there i can see a bunch of stuff for example i see the name i see it that it's an assignment i can edit this event, you can delete it, email it to guests, and then there's a bunch of other options. And then down here, you see it says the link, so if I click there, it automatically brings me to the class where the assignment is. Under, it says the class, and then who it was created by. Suppose I wanna give my students a reminder that they have a project coming up. So here, I'm, you just want to click on any date. So suppose I want to click on this one. Then you can add a title. Suppose my title is H2O project coming up tomorrow. Then you can choose what you want it to be. An event, out of office, task, or appointment slot. Then you can choose the date that it's supposed to be on. So, uh, I want to do it on the 29th, so I'm going to keep it there. Then you can also choose the, that the announcement gets posted. So I'm going to choose it on the 29th as well. Then you can choose if you want that to be there all day, the reminder. And here it says does not repeat. So suppose you want to switch that to maybe daily, weekly on Thursday, monthly on last Thursday, annually on January on July 29th. Every week, Monday to Friday, or you can do custom. Here you can do every what week, and then you can choose what you want, what day you want to repeat it on, and when does it end. Anyways, I'm going to click cancel there. You can add guests that are not in your class if you would like, and then you can also add a Google Meet video conferencing link so your students can talk to you if you would like. You can add rooms or location, add a description or attachments. Okay, now I'm just going to click save. As you can see, on 29th, it shows the H2 project coming up tomorrow. And if I click there, as you can see, I see a few options. It says the name, but as you can see, it does not show a link because this is not an assignment. This is just a reminder that the next day you have a project coming up. So here it shows um, the class and who it was created by. Then you can edit it, delete it, email guests about the a reminder, or then there's a bunch of options again. And then I'm just gonna, there's an X to close it. So here I'm just going to close it. I'm going to show you teachers one last thing. As you can see here, it says my calendars. These are all the calendars from the different classes you have. So as you can see, my class is selected here. But if I unselect it, I can't see the reminder or need the, the assignment that was showing. I can only see the date and then the events that happened a while ago. Although, if I reselect it, the reminder and the assignment are back well teachers that is pretty much it for today's video if you enjoy my content maybe hit that subscribe button and have an awesome day goodbye